How's it going everybody? Thanks for taking a couple minutes out of your day to check out my review of these boots. I was contacted by another boot company and they are Hunted, H-U-N-T-I-T. And they asked me if I would do a review on these boots. They said uh, they would like me to do just a quick unboxing and a general overview of it first and then wear the boots for like six months or a year and then do an, like a durability type review and an update. So I'm going to unbox these boots and I'll be wearing these a lot. As long as they're comfortable, I'll be wearing them a lot coming up because trapping season is about to start. These boots are on Amazon and I will leave links to these actual boots in the description below. Open these up. I ordered a size 12. I'm an 11 and a half. I typically get a 12 in these rubber style boots. Uh, first impressions, let's see. This is a place where I always check out to see. There's always, I mean, it, you can't tell this a whole lot until you wear the boots for quite a while, but this is one of the places where I see separation a lot. I mean, overall, pretty decent so far. We've got a nice cleat here for taking the boot off. That's pretty nice sometimes when you're kicking your boots off to have a cleat there. I know that. They have a tab here to pull the boot on. I'm sure they're going to fit snug on a normal sized person, but I have been genetically blessed with no calf muscles. Look at the other boot out here. I mean, the camo pattern. Pretty typical, pretty decent camo pattern. Okay, so they got a decent tread pattern on them. So I'm going to check out the insole. Uh, basic flat insole. I guess you can't feel this on here, but there, there's cushioning at the bottom of the boot, too. I'm not sure. I'm going to see how this feels. It would be nice if they had, like, a, uh, I guess, I'm not sure the exact word, like an orthotic type insole. I'm going to try these on. I just have a thin pair of wool socks on right now. All right, so there's a lot of width in them, that's for sure. But right now, I can already tell if I put a sock on any, like a heavier wool sock on, my toes are already rubbing the front here. And these are a 12. I, I'm a natural 11 and a half. So if, first thing, if you're going to buy these, you might want to go a size bigger than you typically buy them. I'm not sure... If I'll be able to wear these for six months to a year with as much as I wear rubber boots, we shall see. I think they should add a, a, a contoured insole in them as well. Just give my honest opinion right now. Okay, so I'm going to put a thicker contoured uh, sole in here. Maybe it'll hold my foot differently. Okay, so I got a contoured pair of insoles in them. They definitely feel better that way. However, they are still, they are size small in my opinion. I don't know if I'm going to be able to wear these for six months. I'm going to, honestly, I'm going to probably let somebody else wear them that they fit better and get their opinion on them. Let them wear them for six months or so. I'm sure I got a buddy that can wear these. So again, if you're going to buy a pair of these boots, I believe they run about $79, $69 to $79. I... I would get a size bigger than you normally do. Like I usually get a 12 in rubber boots and they're big enough that I can get a thick pair of wool socks on, keep my feet nice and warm. I have a thin pair of wool socks on right now and I just know that my toes would be sore. If I walked a mile on these, my toes would be sore. They're just too small at a 12. I will find somebody else to wear these boots for a while though. And then uh, I'll get a durability review off of them. If you got any useful information out of this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up or a quick comment. It helps my channel a lot. Hope you all have a blessed day and stay safe, everybody.